This is the elephant nosefish, a peculiar electrical fish that comes to us from Central and West Africa. In the wild, the elephant nosefish gets to about 10 inches in size, but when kept in the aquarium, they often tend to grow much smaller in size, somewhere around 6 to 8 inches. Now, the elephant nosefish is by far one of the trickiest fish that you can keep. Some fish are tricky because they are territorial, some fish are tricky because they are sensitive to water conditions, and other fish are tricky to keep because there's not a lot of solid information about them, especially online. This fish, the elephant nosefish, is all three. This fish is indeed a social fish, meaning that you can keep it with other fish, but they can be extremely territorial. One thing I've noticed about this fish is that it is not a shy fish. It'll swim right up to other fish. I put my hand in the tank and it swam right up to it. It was even pretty easy to catch because it basically swam into the net. So they're pretty aggressive. And you will hear or see other people talking about how docile they are. I've seen video with them with other fish and that's great and all. But at the end of the day, this fish is territorial and can kill other fish. So it's best to keep them by themselves or in a small group if your aquarium is big enough. The tank setup for an elephant nosefish should include fine sand as they spend most of their time sifting through the substrate in search of food. They sort of send these little electrical pulses through the sand when they're hunting and they also use these pulses to communicate and find their way around the murky waters that they're from. The setup should also include plants and other decorations to give them coverage, to make them feel safe, and at the same time, they do like open spaces to swim around in. So what I do is try to keep plants or decorations in the back or the sides of the tank and leave the center of the tank open for swimming. The elephant nose fish is a sensitive fish, so they're better left for a more experienced aquarist. Someone who has experience stabilizing water parameters, tank maintenance, but who also has experience in feeding fish. Because when it comes to feeding fish, it's more complicated than just tossing in some dried foods. You have to take into consideration what kinds of foods your fish like, and where in the tank do your fish like to eat. In this case, the elephant nose fish is a bit trickier to keep because it's a picky eater. Their diet consists of preferably live foods, like black worms and blood worms, and live brine shrimp. But they'll also appreciate some frozen foods. From what I've observed, they favorite frozen blood worms. But all sorts of frozen foods will do fine. They can learn to feed on regular dry foods, like slow sinking granules, but oftentimes they ignore dry foods, and if your fish isn't eating, it isn't healthy. So, if you can get the elephant nose fish to eat dried foods, you should be okay, but if you get a stubborn elephant nose fish who won't eat dried foods, be prepared to shell out a couple extra bucks for some frozen food each week. The elephant nose fish is typically nocturnal. They feed and swim around at night, so you might not see them as active, but the elephant nose fish can be a pretty interesting fish to keep. I'd recommend it for the experienced aquarist who is looking to keep a fish that is unique, it's got a unique shape to it, a fish that is visible, a lot of fish tend to hide, and a fish that you're going to have for a long time. Buying an elephant nose fish is a commitment, as they can live for up to 10 years. The elephant nose fish should be kept with slightly acidic to neutral waters, and with a temperature in between 72 and 82 degrees.